for the very first time, I'm going to be trying to play RimWorld Biotech and actually complete a full playthrough. Admittedly, I have over 100 hours inside of RimWorld, but I've never completed a full game, so this series is going to be exactly that. We'll be starting from a new colony and going through together, creating our characters. We'll be playing with Randy Random on Strive to Survive at Reload Anytime mode. I hopefully shouldn't uh, really need to do any reloads, but in case anything uh, bad happens or maybe I walk away from the computer, and for the seed, of course, we're going to go with Cool Kid Croc. These are all of the mods that I am using. And now we got to pick a spot on this map that we can uh, hopefully survive at. Since I am not the best player, um, choosing even the best location in the game is going to be hard enough for me. But I think right here will be good. We're right near a road and we're in a mountainous area. There's berries that grow here. There are no caves. These are all things that I've learned in previous playthroughs, which end up ending them. And we're going to create a simple ideology and develop it over time. I think we're going to go for ideological. And then for our starting memes, high life um, is always a fun choice. So it just mean we're going to have to make a lot of smoke leaf and drugs pretty fast. And now we actually get to go through and choose which characters are going to be joining us in the playthrough. I like this character I landed on, Andres Rodriguez. He's an apocalypse survivor, and he has a really high construction skill and shooting. We've got Fifi Montez. She was a pickpocket and a criminal surgeon and then she is beautiful physically dull and a brawler so she should be an absolute hoot with the men who doesn't like a beautiful physically dull brawling type of woman <laughs> and lastly here we have bobby ronald he was a cow farmer and then a master chef in his adulthood but he is psychically hypersensitive so he has an 80 percent bonus to psychic sensitivity he's going to be our cook though as well as our gardener and with that we're ready to start the playthrough this is where it all begins the three of you awaken your the three of you awaken your kairos rodriguez fifi and bobby are all landing on this planet and Ooh, this is actually a perfect spawn. We can build our base within here, and then we'll only really need to set up a few walls for a kill box around this area. But we spawn with a bit of supplies, so I'm going to get everybody to uh, equip with uh, some weapons. And since Fifi is going to be our main uh, melee person, Bobby's already throwing up. What the hell, Bobby? So she's going to be our main person on melee combat. We'll have her equip all of the armor we got. And then our first course of action is going to be, well, of course, getting a little hut set up. In here is actually perfect. We only need to make like three walls. So we're going to chop down all the trees in here. And then I'm just going to set up something simple for the time being. We also need a temporary uh, spot to put some of our stuff. So... I'll just uh, throw a couple zones down over here. Dumping zone right there. And there we go. Just like that, we're building a roof and we're going to be able to roof this entire area. So our first course of action is we need beds. We have this place set up, so let's just build into the wall right here. It will give them an, <laughs> an extra square of space because this is where everyone's going to be living for now. We don't have the main story quest yet, but our first goal is basically just to survive. We're going to, of course, need to build a lot of things in Room Road, but the building in the first room is essential. I'll try to put some floors down if we have enough time. And before I forget, I got to make sure I put down a horseshoe pen. That way my colonists don't go literally insane. Oh, an ancient mech. Passing near the remains of an ancient Exostrider mechanoid, Bobby noticed an intact transponder inside. The incinerary weapon cells look unstable and will likely detonate after you do some damage. Oh no. Let's not worry about that for now. For now, we're living it up. We're, uh, everybody's going to sleep. We got a roof over our heads. We haven't got a dog. Uh, Chris, the Labrador Retriever. So just for the dog, I will put down a animal sleeping box so he has a spot to sleep too in a room. But we have very little time to waste i'm thinking of planning uh this room at least right here just a simple small little workshop and i want this to be like a hallway and all right um <laughs> i know this looks crazy but this will be like uh one workshop another workshop and another one we're gonna need a stone cutters table so i'm gonna put that right there definitely gonna need a butcher table and hopefully i can get a uh, power set up before i have to build a kitchen because a kitchen we're gonna want to build right next to where we're gonna be keeping our storage i mean same with a stone cutting table i'll probably want to move the stockpile zone to somewhere around here but so far it's looking so good i'll build the beginning of the colony but so far it's looking so good i mean i'm building the uh start of a colony with wood 
which is usually not a good thing. And I've already messed it up making the uh, hallways three wide. But each of our colonists are going to be doing their different jobs. Fifi right now is uh, hauling stuff around. Bobby is uh, hauling stuff around. And uh, well, so, so is Wa Rodriguez. <laughs> but hopefully after that, they'll get this all set up and built. We have 41 packaged survival meals. So that gives us about, I don't know, maybe another four or five days. But we're definitely going to want to set up a kitchen and a uh, spot to store some of our stuff real soon. Um, first, I should probably begin by deconstructing this stuff. That uh, That's just ugly. We've got an ancient car hanging out here. I, 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 I might leave this for a uh, decoration. Might be able to do something with it. And we're going to need to focus on a tailor bench soon, too, because it's going to get cold here. Once it gets cold, if we start getting too cold, our characters will literally die off from hyperthermia. There's going to be a lot of work to do around here. And I should probably go to manual priorities and just make sure everybody's got the right priorities set. That'll help make sure stuff like construction and everything else is being done on time. And then using the stone cutters table, I'm going to be making granite blocks basically forever. Oh, I mean, uh, sandstone blocks. Let's uh, change that to sandstone. Going to be making sandstone blocks forever. And we can use these to build walls, set up different things for a base, all of that good fun stuff. So I'm just going to select all of these sandstone chunks that are near our base and then haul them over to our stockpile zone so we can start to work on them. Let's start to build out this place a little bit more. Just going to try to clean it up a little bit and maybe dig into the wall over here. But we're already on day three. Everybody's resting and we'll be able to see down here um, in the history tab throughout the game exactly where we are in the series. So right, right now, <laughs> we're pretty broke, but give it give it a, a few months, maybe a few years in game and we might just hit some insane numbers. I've seen some stats on Reddit go to insane charts, like millions worth of dollars. But let's not get um, too ahead of ourselves, okay? We could get attacked by a bunch of bandits at any moment now. And I'm going to build another room right here. So there's like kind of like this box design. And then this can all be replaced with normal floor. We're definitely going to want to get power set up. So I'm going to start with at least a wind turbine right outside. I think right here is a good area. And then because there's a lot of plants and other things that will grow in the area. Like you can see a tree and other stuff there. I'm going to remember the zone from here down to there. And we're actually going to build some floors, some concrete tiles in that zone. Just like that. Concrete tiles are like one steel so they're very cheap but they will basically ensure that this area does not get all messed up because we want this wind turbine running at full speed at all time inside of here i'm going to put an electric tailor bench down here because i think it's too far away from our storage i might just make that like a prisoner's room and for our floors even though it does take quite a bit of time to build we're going to be using sandstone tiles steel is a bit harder to come by in a late game at least from my own experiences and we can always just mine into the mountain for more sandstone oh shoot chris can't even sleep in the pet box we uh made for him <laughs> feel bad dude he's been sleeping outside or pop okay let's put an animal sleeping spot in right under bobby's bed we got a veteran soldier passing by we're gonna get lots of different visitors in this series and i really hope we can actually build like a hotel and a casino and it is getting really dark inside i think we're gonna need to set up some wall lights and to actually power those wall lights, of course, we're going to need to go and connect a power circuit down over to our base. Since it looks like you'll be here for a while, Rodriguez thinks you should give your faction a name. What should the faction be called? Of course, we are going to be the Cool Kid Empire, and we should give our settlement a name, to which we're going to be calling this the Cool Kid Village. The Cool Kid Village, we're ready to go. Oh, we're having a, um, a psychic soothe for females, so that means uh, Fifi is going to be working even harder. So far, it seems like uh, Rodriguez is doing a good job with a uh, persuading Fifi. Same with Bobby. Uh, he's doing good with being friends with Bobby. Wow, Bobby's nailing it out of a park with Fifi. So at least all of our colonists are getting along together so far. That's really good. The last thing we want is them fighting each other this early. I guess for now, because we're getting close to the deadline, I'm just going to put an electric stove in this room. We can always move it later on, but for now, we gotta get something set up. Now, it's been a few days in game, so we should have our, like, first bandit attack or event happen real soon. But I'd really like to get this room set up in case we can uh, host a prisoner there. 
But right now, we're mainly just building the floor. We got to get some lights in here because it's too dark to live. And Rodriguez, he has a level 11 construction. Probably go to level 12 by tomorrow. So he's going to be our main builder for the series, or at least uh, for the time being. We got to do a lot of work here if we're going to survive and make it all the way to the end of a series. Well, we are almost on day six. Everything's going, I mean, all right so far. Yep, Rodriguez reached level 12 in construction already. And whoa, we got new lovers. Rodriguez and Fifi now want to sleep together. That was really fast. That is good though, because uh, in RimWorld Biotech, you can have like children and stuff. And I've not done any of this stuff, like the children or the gene modifications. I've had Biotech for a while, but I just haven't really played it. So this is all going to be like a brand new experience to me. We're also almost running out of food, so we're going to need to hunt... Um, I don't know, maybe some of these um, Ibex rams. We'll hunt like three of them and bring them back. And then we'll butcher the creature. And then someone should bring it over to the stove to make food out of it. Bobby's over here shooting that ram and trying to kill it. <laughs> it's good target practice. It won't be easy, but <laughs> I mean, like it, within time, uh, Bobby will be able to hopefully kill this ram. He's like chased both of them back to the base and he's hitting none of his shots. <laughs> to be fair, he only has like a level two at shooting so i should probably assign someone else to hunting like possibly uh rodriguez but um he's kind of busy construction hopefully this won't take too much time from him bobby has successfully killed at least one of these rams and let's see uh rodriguez is still hunting his he's got his all the way all the way around here now bro he, he gave he gave up he literally gave up I mean, I think this doe is going to bleed out and die, so hopefully uh, we'll be able to retrieve it in the morning. And then we're going to need a place to put a few uh, wood generators because it seems like we're already running low on power most days when the wind turbine slows down. There we go. Bobby's cooking the simple meals, so we now have food again and we won't starve. Honestly, I don't know why I didn't do this before. I should probably set up some growing zones. This is like something you usually do right when you start playing. I forgot our characters are also potheads too, so we're going to need to start growing some smoke leaf uh before we all go crazy grow some potato and we'll grow some rice there and i do not see any other like close zones for farming so i might just put like our weed farm down here or a smoke leaf <laughs> our smoke leaf farm maybe we'll get a small heel root farm uh nobody has the skill to do so that's unfortunate so uh, we'll have to wait on that and then in here we'll grow one other thing well we grow some uh strawberries colonists love strawberries dude so my goal right now after i get this set up is we really need like general storage location and after that i think we need to set up a cooler maybe even a cooler first oh our medicine and everything is uh fucking uh, going to shit out there okay maybe i should bring some stuff in and i'll put that as preferred priority so hopefully everybody uh, starts hauling stuff over in the morning just specifically i don't want the medicine to go bad and oh no bobby got sick from the meal that he cooked that isn't good and oh no a uh, a praetor of a refugee empire is calling from nearby her guards were killed in an ambush she escaped but is now being followed by a man hunting raccoon taruar wants you to keep her safe at cool kid village for a few hours until her shuttle can pick her up okay so we're gonna accept this quest and i think we're gonna accept it for rodriguez rodriguez is gonna be kind of like the uh leader of our colony i think too so it makes sense giving him the role the man hunting raccoon has arrived though we gotta go send um <laughs> our guys up to go help shoot him yeah there we go okay so we only gotta get one more shot come on Rod come on rodriguez one more shot you gotta, you gotta kill him before he hits him. Don't, don't let him kill him. Oh no, man. <laughs> the raccoon's like dodging Rodriguez's shots. Oh, wow. Well, uh, Rodriguez reached level 7 in shooting. I would have thought he reached level 2 there <laughs> with how bad he's shooting. We gotta go down here. The raccoon's catching up to our buddy. Shoot him. Kill him, Rodriguez. Come on. The raccoon won't die for another six hours, too, so we gotta kill him. There we go. That was way more effort than it should have been, bro. Bobby is throwing up on the floor inside. That is not nice. And a shuttle has arrived to uh, pick up 2R, so that's good. I uh, will get him to go get in the shuttle. And then, boom. Rodriguez received the title of Freeholder from the Refugee Empire. We also got a quest to do a ceremony, which I'm going to hold off for a little bit right now. But that's our first qu actual quest in the game done. A lot of them are going to pop up here and there. We can take this one at any time, and it's basically going to give us our first Psylink level. 
and now I'm building the wood fire generator in here so we do have to refill it with wood which uh, is kind of annoying but it does give us guaranteed power and then right around here I'm gonna make a hallway and I think in here I'm gonna put the uh, cooler that we're gonna be storing all of our food and medicine and perishables in I mean we're on day almost nine right now and we're <laughs> we're not doing too great we've only gone up in like 2,000 from wealth but hey we got a uh, self-tamed boom rat that's pretty cool like uh, realistically we're doing pretty good Bobby keeps on getting sick from the meals that he is cooking himself I don't know how that is possible nobody else is cooking other than Bobby and Bobby has a level 12 cooking skill I think it's about time I put down some chairs too at all these uh tables make everybody's life a little bit better and I gotta make sure every room has lights if you don't have lights in a room I believe it gives you a negative bonus to uh your like work speed and production speed so with the lights on we should be doing stuff a little bit faster and having chairs of a bench will make our uh people a little bit happier we do have to kill more wildlife too though because we're already running low oh we got a war merchant so we can trade with them i don't really think we have anything that's worth trading yet or than like some uh some plain leather like fabrics and stuff component has deteriorated away in storage oh no i don't know how many components i lost there but i'm guessing that was more than a few let's see if the traders have anything that's worth buying maybe some components <laughs> yeah it doesn't really look like it i i could sell them that boom rat we got i mean i might as well i don't really need one right now we can always get one later as far as weapons go they do not have a lot of uh good stuff there now, in order to get more components, we're going to need to mine, like, compact machinery. And luckily, we have a few in the walls right here, but we're going to have to, like, look on outskirts, see if there's any. Yeah, like, right here, I can see uh, there's some. So, I'll get my guys to, like, mine out that little area. And, oh, no, a solar flare. That shut down all electrical uh, devices for a day. So, even though we have, like, a wood-fueled uh, power generator, it still doesn't matter. All electronics and stuff is just done for today. I'm going to delete the stockpile zone outside, so hopefully we should just start hauling the stuff over and maybe i'll just make everybody a uh, number one haulers for a little bit oh no we need an abstractor or else uh, people are going to keep on getting unhappy that isn't good no reachable altar ideogram or ritual spot okay i guess we'll put a ritual spot down let's just do it in a room right here in front of rodriguez's bed and perhaps maybe i'll make a fifi the abstractor and then rodriguez can be the uh, moral mind so there we go we'll start the ceremony this will make a uh, fifi into uh, the abstractor for like our ideology and our colony or whatever and then maybe i'll make uh rodriguez the uh leader after i just don't want him to want like special clothes yet because if he wants special clothes that's just gonna make life even more difficult yeah like now fifi wants abstractor apparel which is a uh, burka and a flop hat. So I'll have to make those for her soon before uh, she gets too angry. Uh-oh, Muffalo Revenge. Oh no, Bobby, run. Bobby's gonna need to run back to the colony and a, uh, we're gonna need to prepare for an attack. Get together. Shoot them. Okay, we got we got two shots on one. Oh no, run, run, run. Everybody quick, inside. Oh, quick, quick, quick. Fifi's gonna have to block the door or something. Yeah, like now they're gonna stand there. We can get a uh, Rodriguez and Bobby to start shooting them. Fifi's gonna have to hold it down. Hold it down, Fifi. Kill them. Oh yeah, there we go. We're, we're actually doing it, dude. We, we, we got them. I think that other muffalo is out there. Yeah, we can uh, try to kill him now. All right, well, there we go. Dinner is served. Well, it still needs to be uh, prepared and chopped up and everything, but you guys know what I mean. We chop the mufflos up. It gives us a bunch of blue fur as well as a bunch of meat. No, Bobby, don't eat that fucking raw meat, you psychopath. You gotta cook it first before you just start eating it. We've got a lot of meat plus this uh, muffalo outside, so that'll at least give us enough food for the next few days. Oh, wait, so Fifi is super injured right now, but she's her only doctor, so I'm gonna have to get her to heal herself, actually. Man, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it does have a higher chance that stuff can go wrong, like a lower tending quality and whatnot. But at very least, uh, we'll have her rest in bed for a little bit. So they will buy blue fur for like 138 each. That's only like 200 though. Doesn't seem like these guys have a whole lot. Ooh, they do have components though. And I know I need these now. So maybe we'll get rid of a bird skin and plain leather. And yeah, maybe even some of this muffalo meat because I feel like it's going to go bad. Then with that, we can get a bunch of uh, components. 26 components. I'll take it. Nice. Those are used for like a lot of uh, things in the game. So the fact that we lost all of ours early on really sucked. At least we got some new ones, though. Oh, no. A pack of man-hunting rats have entered the area. Well, 
this is good. It's only two man-hunting rats that are uh, chasing us. And I'm pretty certain our colonists can handle that. Plus, we have like a whole group here hanging out. Right now would be a good time to hunt this uh, grizzly bear here. Yeah, like he's uh, coming inside of the fucking base and shit. And he just walked right in. Oh no, the bear's got Rodriguez. He's gonna kill him, dude. <laughs> oh no. Alright, there we go. We got we got some backup from the people who got the base. Rodriguez just got mauled by a bear, though. He's all beat up now. Alright, so let's go rescue Rodriguez, put him in a bed, and get him healed. But with that, we're now on, well, day 13 of April Mary, so it's been like 13 days in game. In the next episode, I think we're going to be trying to set up this base a little bit more, like getting the uh, cooler and other stuff set up. That was kind of a brutal start, honestly. Not one of my best, but I think we can uh, survive off of this. Anyways, though, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.